Hi everyone, thanks for listening. I'd like to show you another neat little keynote trick today. Uh, I have a keynote presentation here and what I'm going to be showing is a quotation or this trick would work for any big block of text. Um, here you see I have a quote by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Ignorance is a virus. Once it starts spreading it can only be cured by reason. For the sake of humanity we must be that cure. So I felt for whatever reason this was a relevant quote to a presentation I was going to be using. And so I want to uh, use a trick here to draw some attention to certain parts of the quote. Now there's a lot of ways to do that. I could certainly you know, select some words and underline them, but it's not very dynamic and it's not very interesting. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my whole slide, once I have it set up the way I want it, and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to take the uh, text that I think I want to really point out. For example, this term, ignorance is a virus. I think that's important, and I want that to jump out. So I'm going to highlight it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the color of that text. I'll make it something very, uh, very bright that stands out, maybe this blue, or let's go with a yellow, actually. Um, and so if I go back to the first slide, all I need to do now is add a dissolve transition to the first slide and what I'll end up with is this nice little effect where that term kind of changes to yellow during the transition. Now of course you can do this with lots of things. You can make it bold, you can underline it, you can add shadows. In fact one of the nice tricks I like to do is take that text and give it a shadow that is the same color as the text. So I'm adding a shadow to just that term and I'm going to make the shadow color that same yellow. I'm going to set the offset of the shadow to zero and the opacity to 100. And it almost makes it look like that term is glowing. And let's see what the effect is. It's a very powerful effect. Uh, of course, you could do this multiple times. I'm going to go back and take the blank slide and duplicate it, add it down to the bottom, and duplicate it again so that I can highlight a different section. This time I'm going to highlight cured by reason and again change the color. Uh, maybe use a different color. I'll go blue with this one and give it a shadow. Make the shadow blue and let's see what we got here. I have to add the uh, I want the dissolve transition to be on all of them. So go ahead so while I'm talking about this component or this part of the quote, I'll have it highlighted like this. Then I can have it dissolve back to white, and then I could highlight the cured by reason in blue. Now there's one other trick I want to show you. Um, another thing I can do it, to draw attention to one particular thing is have the rest of this picture uh, appear to kind of fade out. And to do that, all I need to do is add some, some shapes, some boxes here. Um, what I'm going to do is cover all the other text with a box. And I'm going to make that box black, but with a, a certain amount of opacity. Maybe like that. And so you can still see it, but it's kind of hidden in the background. I'm going to duplicate that box and cover up the remaining text with it. Duplicate it one more time. And again, cover up all the text. Now this is a good place to use your guides. You want you don't want your these black boxes overlapping because if they do, you'll get a, a different opacity. So you want to cover everything equally. Okay? And again, I'm just gonna duplicate the slide just so I can get back to normal at the end. And uh, let's see the, the result here. Okay, so I have my quote. First I highlight ignorance is a virus talk about that for a bit. Go back to normal. Then I hire cured, uh, highlight cured by reason. And then can, I can have everything else kind of fade out a little bit. And then I can go back to normal. And it's a really nice simple trick for pointing out or focusing on certain parts of a block of text. As you know, we don't often like to use big giant blocks of text on a slide, but in the scenario where you want to, like a quote for example, this is a good way to highlight different parts um, in kind of a dynamic, uh, unique way. Thanks for listening.